Yo, welcome back to Car Chats, episode 109. We're about to jump on with Just Cause. Coming out of NY, he's gonna jump in. We're gonna get this going. Again, episode 109, thanks for everybody. It's been patient, I've been off for a little bit, but I'm back. It's a little dark, my ring light gave out while I was in here, so we're gonna have to deal with what we got, but hopefully the street lights come on and provide some extra lighting for me soon. And yeah, hope everybody's been doing well. Episode sponsored as always by Diamonds Rising. And uh, yeah. Just cause, just jumped in. Just gonna wait for him to tune up. And we're gonna be going. Shroom T, what's that? Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Gonna roll myself a little joint. You know. Yo, 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 my guy. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. Bro. Oh, you mad dark over here? Say what? Yeah. yeah, I know, bro. My fucking ring light just gave out as I started. The street light should be starting in a minute, though, so I'll be all right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, you know, we we adapt, we overcome. <laughs> Back. Facts, facts. Yo, I'm just saying that that screen is as dark as my soul, nigga. So I was just checking. I was like, yo, this nigga's like, what's up? Yo. Hey, bro, it's my, my, my soul is the same color, and I, I shouldn't be this pale. Yo, I, I feel you. I feel you. Sometimes <laughs> I feel the same way. Uh, <laughs> fuck, this is a continuation of this morning's conversation and shit. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. The jokes keep rolling in. Yo, man, once you, once you left that conversation this morning, that shit got fucking wild. <laughs> Yo, bro, because my brother, my brother Shorty was fucking on there, bro. I wanted to stay on, but I was like, I, I got to do shit. I was like, I got to do shit. If you would have stayed down, you would have got banned off Facebook. Yo, that's true. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, everybody would have got fucking banned, bro. Everybody would have got fucking yapped, bro. Everybody. That would have been like, you yapped, I'm yapped, Shorty yapped, bro. They feel like you niggas is finished, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, but uh, so yo, yeah, while we're while, while I'm pushing this up quickly, why don't you uh, let everybody know, uh, let everybody know where you're at, what you what you go by, and uh, give them a little introduction to Just Cause. Early, early. Well, I am Mr. Early, aka Just Cause. Niggas that know me, you know Joseph Castillo, Early. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, Just Cause. Um, you know, rapper from Manhattan. Uh, right now I stay in uh, Vermont with the family. And, um, you know, just, uh, I was introduced to the, to the, you know, to the, I would say the Vermont scene, like maybe four or five years ago. And, and as we say in, in the rap, you know, histories, nigga, we never looked back. We just, we just kept it moving. And did you, what, what made you tra uh, travel from, uh, you said you're, sorry, you said you're in Manhattan originally, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And what made you go to Vermont? Oh, uh, yo, it was cra it's crazy. Uh, uh, business, business offer. Um, I was actually asked to, uh, to be a security officer for a college up here in Vermont. Okay. Hey, Olive. <laughs> Early. And, and uh, uh, big... my bad, go ahead. No, no, you're good. You're good. And, um, what do you call it? So I, I picked up the job and, uh, I stayed up here for like a month actually by myself and uh, saved up some money, you know what I'm saying, and got uh, got an apartment for the family, and then brought them up here so they could, you know, they could be here. And what's what's one of the biggest differences you find in uh, in the New York scene as compared to the Vermont scene? Um, I would definitely say like the difference is, um, obviously like b besides the size, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna. I'm going to say like the, the, I'm not, I'm not, you know what I was, I was going to say like the, the variety is, is not there, but you know what, like we're in Vermont and everybody's mad different. So I was about to be like, yo, the variety isn't there, but it actually is. There's actually more variety here than in the city. Cause man, niggas sound the same. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna hold you. Yo, Vermont, shout out to Vermont. Niggas be holding it down. Yo, I've been saying, Vermont. man, Vermont is yeah. a fucking sleeper yeah. state, bro. Yeah. Nah, you, nigga, we got some heavy hitters, bro. We got some niggas that left Vermont and niggas want to come back because they like, yo, these niggas out here is real, bro. Like, yo, you I, know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I've, been, real. 
I've been tapped into the Vermont scene for like a little over a year now. Uh, like I started connecting with uh, FFD Ross. He's part of Joint Manipulation. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Uh, um, I have heard the name, yes, but I'm not. I'm not familiar with anything because I honestly do not listen to any music. I know you were saying that this morning. Man. It's, another, it's another one for me too, man. I I only listen to music that like uh, that either the people I'm interviewing. Or like someone really, really has to hit me like, yo, please check this. And I'm like, oh, fuck, all right, fine. Facts. Like somebody's got to run up on me and be like, yo, did you hear? And I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck that is. They're like, yo, <laughs> listen to this. And then I'm like, wow, all right. I've been sleeping, my bad. And then I do my own little research and I'm like, damn, all right, my bad. Let me let me get on that. And how long have you been making music for? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I would say turn of the century, so about 20 years almost. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, no, about 18 years, almost almost 20 years. All right, all right. and what, this is a, a new question for me. I don't, I haven't asked anybody in the interview yet, uh, like this question specifically. Before, before it came to like you wanting to do music and stuff, what did you want to be? Like before music, like what, what, like you were younger, what did you want to be when you were like at that age? You're like, I need to get a career. What was it going to be if it wasn't chasing the music dream? <laughs> it was yo. It was it was honestly two things, and and you're you're probably gonna fucking laugh because the 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 two things. Well, it's actually it was actually three because you know a nigga Puerto Rican in in hand nigga was gonna be a baseball player yeah. early. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like a nigga <laughs> was gonna be a baseball player, but like you know, let's not let's not go there because the nigga's knees is not what they used to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. let's look. Let's not go there. <laughs> but let's not go there. But yo, <laughs> but yo, um, straight up and down, man. Uh, uh, I was I was gonna be uh, a mad scientist when I was a little kid, man. Uh, history and science and 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 social studies art you know what i'm saying that shit was always uh it was always a thing for me you know what i'm saying like i i still love uh science and, and social studies history uh uh arts the arts you know what i'm saying like it just it always i always gravitated towards that like i always love to read books and 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 just different things like i love old english like that's weird like i love to read uh about different languages i like i love to learn languages you know what i'm saying like i know f you know five to six different languages so you know what i mean like it's just weird it's weird that's dope though do you spit in different languages i do i do spit in different languages on some real shit <laughs> uh i'm actually working on it on a spanish lp uh, I wasn't i wasn't gonna tell nobody i was just gonna drop it like i normally do because i'm a, i'm a quiet digger I don't be, you know what I'm saying? I don't be telling niggas my shit. I just like to be like, hey, yo, there's about to be some magic real quick and then drop it. And people be like, what the fuck? Like, that's why you were so quiet. Like, yeah, real, real people move in silence, bro. We don't just be saying shit like early. You know what it is, yeah. Titi. You know what time it is. But fucking, yeah, like, Titi, listen. But, uh, but yeah, like, it's just, it, it's crazy. Like, um, you know, sometimes I feel like if I say some shit out loud to like certain people, they always, they always like try to down your shit or like down this, like, uh, uh downplay your situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like not per se down you, but downplay the situation that you're in. Like, ah, oh, it ain't that bad. Or like, you could do this. Da -da -da -da. There's a better and then, like, idea but instead of that. Like, there, there's yeah. something more something more sellable. It's always about something more profitable. And you're like, yo, I don't always just do it for the fact that it's profitable. Like, no, right. if, it, if, like, if, I, if that was the case, I'd be making money all the fucking time. Right. <laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Like, I'll be out there in the cubicle. Like, okay, here's the paycheck. Like, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do some shit that I believe in. The fuck? Like, no what? Doubt. Yeah, so, you know, that's 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 what I'm doing. So, um, I try to usually keep shit close to the vest, but, you know, since since we here and I, and I, I, rap, I rap in Spanish, like I rap in Spanish, um, one of my best friends, shout out to Omri, um, he moved here when he was very, very young, not here in Vermont, but here, uh, you know, meaning New York. And, um, you know, he was like 15 or 16 years old and he didn't know not one lick of English. That man came from Israel, bro. Tel Aviv, yo, that, that man did not know not one word of English. Nobody wanted to talk to him in the school where I was at because he didn't know no English. 
So I'm like, yo, you guys acting like this motherfucker is a leper. Like, he know, he doesn't know English. You act like he's got AIDS. What the fuck? I'm like, yo, stop with the bullshit. I'm like, yo, so I, I became his best friend. I'm like, yo, listen, I'll teach you English. I don't really know what you're saying. He taught me Hebrew. There you go. You know what I mean? Like, yo, there's so many valuable lessons in, in just trying to accept people for who they are. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that? It's like, so, it's like my yeah. neighborhood here. Like, I, when I was younger, like, my neighborhood was very diversified. Like, there's a lot of, like, people from the Middle East, like Afghanistan and stuff. And when they came oh. here at that time, during that, especially during those times in the early 2000s and shit, so, like, you know, like, like they're here, not a lick of English, you know, I. Me and whoever I was chilling with at that time is probably my boy Moses that I've been chilling with for day for years, man. He's my best friend from time. But like they probably we kicked it, played soccer. They all learned English from just playing soccer and kicking it with us. You know, it might not have been great English, but it was enough right. to get them by. Right. I mean, even broken English is still English. Yeah. Even broken English. Exactly. You know what I'm saying it's, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So. You know, I'm working on that uh that that Spanish album, working on my regular album coming up. Um, I don't have a release date for that yet, but but that shit is definitely in the mix. And then I got a couple of uh couple of secret joints on top of the the two other joints that I'm working on. So I got a I got a couple of I got a couple of joints like that are gonna be dropping and then then I got some other special things coming. So, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm working on um I'm working on some things with Breeze actually, trying to put together a a little panel yeah. um on like, you know, hip hop and, and a couple of um hip hop artists and maybe some DJs or something like that and um you know, just, just get together and, and talk about hip hop and how hip hop influenced you and like, you know, how, in, you know, how it influenced the community that you were in and, you know, how you grew up, you know, in the community and how hip hop helped you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just like questions like that and like, you know, just trying to, trying to bring hip hop to the forefront, um, you know, of, of, of Vermont and where we're at, you know what I'm saying? Because like up, you know, in upper Vermont, you know what I'm saying? Like they all... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, they have a lot of, you know, coverage. Like, a lot of people know of the people up north. And not a lot of people know us down here. And I want to I wanna try to change that. And if, you know what I'm saying, if nobody, you know what I'm saying, has done that, or if nobody, you know what I'm saying, is, you know, trying to do that, you know, try to do that shit, I'll, I'll do it. Let's do it. I'll do it. Fuck it. I'll be the first one to do it. I'll do shit. Uh, you know. Yeah, he's probably looking to do it in person more than likely, Shrimpy. Yeah. Uh, the uh, that's a good idea though, because like people don't realize that like whatever inspired you or whatever it changes, not just like state to state. It's like literally block to block. It could be like one block is just full of like old like southern heads that love like old DJ Screw and shit, and then the next block is like East Coast like people who are just down with the east vibes from the early 90s and shit like the originators and shit like that so it's different everywhere you go and vermont seems like it has a lot of like different pulls from different eras you know what i mean there's like yes. some there's like like the funk hip-hop that's there's quite a bit there i've seen and then there's like the alternative hip-hop and then there's the original like style boom bap shit and then there's yep. the people who just Combine everything, like Breeze, for example. Yo, Bri Breeze is a fucking god in himself. Like, I hope you don't even he don't be playing. You know what I'm saying? Because that man is a fucking beast. Like, oh, oh. you know, he's a he's a beast, bro. Like, oh shit, that, is, that man's a beast. In, in the words of my man, Young Breeze, a goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Yo. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 long do you how uh, how far back do you go with Breeze? Is it is it just when you first got to Vermont, or was it previous to that? Uh it, it was it was actually after I got uh to Vermont. It's crazy. I've only been here for four years, almost five. Maybe wait longer. When the fuck? When? Under twenty fifteen. Nigga, you know my math ain't right. What happened? Twenty fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is she talking about? She was good in 2015. Nigga, what? What does that mean in math, nigga? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, nigga, early. 
Oh, nigga, I said I'm a fucking rapper, not a mathematician, nigga. What's eight plus five? A lot, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No. You're right. <clears throat> For what? No one claimed to be a mathematician. Almost five years. All right. So almost, almost five years. Almost five years we've been up here. No, we've been. Oh, we've been. been? For almost five years we've been up here. Let's, let's almost eight years. I was gonna say. Get the fuck out of here. That's about eight years. Nah, don't tell nobody I've been up here for no eight years. I've been up here for five. Tell niggas five years. <laughs> <laughs> you tell niggas five years. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fucking eight years. What the fuck I've been doing in my life? Hey. My God. How to work. When you were making music. <clears throat> Crazy. When you were yeah, man, that why I'm... making music, do you find the reciprocation for your music different in Vermont than it was in New York? Um that in the in the beginning, in the beginning when I started to like when I picked up the pen, it was definitely like the hardest thing to to get like traction or to get anybody in New York to even uh uh look or even try to listen to my music. Like, yo, look at me, bro. I'm rapping. Like, nigga, you in New York, everybody rap. Shut the fuck up. Like, oh damn. Like, all right, so then I gotta be good, good. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then I would try to like stay in my little shell and, and, and write and then be like, all right, I, I think this is lit. So then I would approach my friends and be like, yo. And niggas would be like, yo, get the fuck out of here with that, bro. Like, nah, you wildin'. So it was never like, I never had like an open arms type shit with like anybody that I showed my music to. Like, it was always like, niggas shut up. Like, stop. And then, um, like, thank God I had a couple of niggas like, you know, Matt Jones and, 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 uh, and, <coughs> And, and a couple of my my true niggas that like liked my music from the very beginning and was like yo don't don't quit that like we you might have not like you might not have like all the bars or all the flow but like we see that heart and we know that that heart will get you somewhere like and I'm like that's what's up man like you know what I mean like so shout out to those guys you know what I mean but um <laughs> but it was always it was, it was always hard for me to, to to get something in New York so it was weird that like when I came out here I I got all like, I'm not even going to say all types of traction. I'm just going to say that I got a lot of traction. And because of the traction that I got and because of the love that I got here in Vermont, um, it was so much easier for me to go back to New York and be like, nigga, look. And people be like, oh, shit, he got a following now. Oh, his bars. Uh, uh. You know what I mean? So it was like, it was like you, you had to go with like a following and like people had to have your back already for you to be somebody, you know, to somebody in New York. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So it, it, was, it was just mad stuff to me. It was weird. It's funny. And like even, I don't know, it was it was just weird. And like, I, I even won um, a fucking, the, the World MC uh, team backpack shit two years in a row. Oh, and what? still nobody gave me my, and still nobody gave me my, my little, you know, pat on the back. Like, ah, right, yo, this nigga could really do, do something. Ain't nobody even cared, bro. I I fucking I went up to Vermont in the first year. Uh, shout out Circle Banks. Uh, this man put me on the stage. Yo, three years, three years after I got here, he puts me on the stage and we start I, we start blessing shows, bro. Blessing shows, bro. We went up to Bethel, and then we went up to what was it, Randall? No, what was it? Uh. We went, we went shit. We, I shoot, yeah, we went out of state. I went to my first weed festival with with Bangs. Like he 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 hooked me up, man. Like for real. Uh, without Bangs, man, I wouldn't have been blessed uh, to be on that stage. You know what I'm saying? So you know, shout out to Bangs for that. Because uh, it was always hard for me to try to get on the stage in New York too. Like nobody wanted to give me a chance, which was mad weird. They, they give but, um, they give out of towners a lot of fucking love, though. I'll tell you that lately. New York shows the the underground scene. They've been having a lot of like Canadian guests, and I'm like, bro, you like not that not that like obviously I'm in Canada, you know. Obviously, I got love for all the artists here. I wish them all the best, but like, yo, Thanks. New York has a, is <laughs> bigger than our whole country. Okay, <laughs> they don't need yeah, you guys, yeah. you know. Okay, we don't you don't need you there. Right. Just chill. <laughs> Give them a chance to get the people that live next door to the venue an opportunity, please. No, oh, man, I'm telling you, just to get into the door into an NY venue was like, Jesus Christ. But then once you're in, though, they don't want you to leave. And that's what's dope about New York, though. 
I'm not gonna lie. Like once they open oh, once that door to you, they like once you're Yeah, in, they want you to like, come back. They want you to be back. They're like, yo, you come back next week, right? Ah, oh, yeah, word. And I'm like, yo, you niggas is lit out here. What you mean next week? You're like, like, yeah, yeah you got the bread, right? Week if you book me. <laughs> like this. Yeah, word. Like, yo, you gonna pay me, right? Like, nah, nigga, we broke. But I'm saying, nigga, if you come back, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? I, was just, I was just talking to Breeze, man. Like, <clears throat> I was telling him I was trying to lock in uh, some more shows for his Jelani Sky, like little type of tour he wants to get going. So I was trying to get him uh, opening spot for uh, that, this artist, Best Believe. Yeah. And this is no yes. shade to the promoter, really, because a lot of promoters are doing this. But like this whole fucking pay to perform bullshit. Yeah. You guys need to cut that model out. That shit is just fucking. That's petty, bro. Like we, like if the money's not going into your pocket more than anybody else's, why the fuck are you making people do that? You, you know, yeah, like, that pay the price is weird. Like you're being greedy for absolutely no self purpose. It makes no sense. It's counterintuitive. It is, and then, and then you know, like or or the promoters that'll be like, yo, it's a contest, and you gotta pay something, something to get in, and. Whoever wins the contest is gonna win some money. <laughs> the contest isn't whatever, about your rap skills. It's about who's the best salesman. Yeah. Or or, yeah. or it'll just be or it'll just be some some half naked chick. No offense to the beautiful ladies out there that be doing their thing on the dance floor or doing their thing on the stage. Like, yo, bro, like, okay. But like it's not fair that you're singing over your fucking vocals, you're half naked, and that's what you won. Nigga, I'm out here sweating my nuts off, spitting bar bars. And I got one song to do all this shit in, and and niggas is saying I'm I killed it, but you have a one minute song that you sang over your lyrics, and all you you forgot half your shits, and you're shaking your ass, and that's what you won. That's fucked up. That's also fucked up. I don't like that. They're doing their bad, doing some bad karaoke and shit. <clears throat> yeah, like yo, <laughs> like what the fuck, like. Yeah. I, that shit is crazy to me. Like that, that's crazy. Yeah, that bro. shit, is crazy. I be like, I don't understand that. That's why a lot of these, I'm turned, I'm turned off and turned away by a lot of these like uh, independent thrown events now because I'm like, they're not, they're not looking yeah, for, they're not look. looking for the talent. They're looking for who sells the most tickets and shit. But then like you have a completely lousy show. So like. I mean, if the people that paid for those tickets, yeah, you sold out or whatever, but the people leaving that event thought it was whack, you, you're going to get another return customer? Like, Absolutely you know, like not. A, first impression, exactly. a first impression isn't always one-on-one. -on -one. It could be you against a fucking thousand people coming in that venue. Absolutely. Like, your, name, Absolutely. your name is the face on the venue for that night. I'm sorry. Like, don't, don't fuck it up for yourself. Absolutely. And or like, so or like do. yes. And the thing is... It's so it's so hard to get shows like people to put on like certain hip hop acts or hip hop events that they give all these whack ass promoters fucking second chances because there's no one else doing it. So they're like, all right, fuck it, maybe he'll do better this time around. And it's like, right. you know, <laughs> you're insane if you think like doing the same shit expecting a different result, bro. <laughs> that it's, is, the, it's the definition, it's the definition of insanity. Of insanity. <laughs> you know, fucking like. I'm like, yo, <laughs> they don't realize that they're mentally ill. <laughs> like, yo, bro, and I'm fucking times, crazy, bro. bro. They've done this 17 times now. They have to know they're fucked up in the yeah. head. Yeah, bro, come on, man. That shit. Yeah. Or like, I, I love the shows where they're like, yo, it's not a show, but at the end of the show, or, or like, it's not a contest, but at the end of the show, we get to pick who wins. Yeah. What the fuck? And then you go to the show, knowing that it's a contest because somebody has to win, and then it's <laughs> bullshit. Nobody wins because nobody's announced <laughs> at the end of the show. That shit kills me. I'll be like, what the fuck was the point of all of us being here then? Yeah, what the that's fuck? Why, like, like it's pretty bad when nowadays you got to read the fine print of an event flyer. <laughs> oh my god! You know? Yup. Yeah, you're like, you're like, what's the catch? But like, you're like, there, it says there's a five hundred dollar cash reward. What's the catch? <laughs> Yo, what's the catch? Yeah, you have to bring your own five hundred dollars and pay yourself. 
<laughs> like, you got, you, you bring the trophies with your own name on it. You're telling people like, yo, here's a ten dollar bill. Just when I when I clap, just bring this to me. <laughs> just bring it to me, yo. Facts, or just give every single person that you meet outside, like like before the show, just give them niggas an award and be like, hand this to me at the end of the show. Hand this to me at the end of the show. And it just eight hundred niggas is giving you awards. Yo, like, see, I won. All I'm of these people you, fucking bro. told me. If, if we ever if we ever connect in real time in real life, <laughs> we're doing a skit <laughs> and we're yeah. doing and we're filming that shit Yo, and I'm putting that facts. shit out. <laughs> I'm fucking down, bro. I'm down, bro. I'm doing down. That, doing that like I was like some fucking flash mob at like a full ass live ass event and people are just watching like what the fuck is going on right now. Oh my God, bro! I'm telling you, man. Like, what yo, all these people get trophies. If, <laughs> yo, Jesus, yo! I'm telling you right now, if anybody's getting a trophy at my show, it's gonna be a trophy for laughing too hard. <laughs> Fuck out of here! Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here! Oh man, the conversations I've had on the show lately have fucking killed me, uh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing a fucking great job, bro. Like, if you're not having a, if you're not having an iota of fucking fun at the things that you like to do. You're not fucking doing that's it. Why right, I don't man. That's why I script the shit, bro. I always just like, I leave it up to the energy. You know what I mean? Like, Back. Back. You have not to, you have to, have to <clears throat> Now I know to. people are looking at their episode times. Like how long was our episode? Was the energy good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, my bad just vibe. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We vibe. I just had to bounce. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. Shoot. <laughs> But so you have those, the projects you, you were talking a little bit about that you, you're keeping to the chest right now. But as for what was your most recent project that you released? Uh, uh, the most recent project was my album, uh, my very first album that I ever created, um, Legend in the Making. Uh, it came out last June. Oh, I saw, the, I saw the merch for those. That's fucking dope. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, and and more merch on the way. I literally make new merch like every two weeks, like you literally. Hit, you gotta hit us with a hit us with one for the album wall. We're building an artist wall. Yo, yo, I got you, I got you on some real shit. I just got my fucking my album shirt yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no, stop! I actually, yeah, cause uh, the guys from the warehouse they just sent me my shirt, so I could rock my own shirt at my my shows. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time somebody orders a couple of shirts, I get one for myself. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like I don't even get to have one of these shirts. You know, I get to create them, and then y'all get to get them if y'all buy them. Like, I don't even get to, to have one. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, if I sell X amount, these guys will send me one and be like, this is yours. I'm like, you fuckers. Yeah, that's <laughs> you, <laughs> you fuckers. Motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, man? I'm like, yo, I made this shit up, man. I, I spent hours on fucking, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Shit. When I did my, when I did my merch run, my first merch run for the podcast, uh, uh -huh. I went I went searching for, like, a, just someone who was doing it themselves. Right. And, like, right. I got, like, I got a fucking fantastic deal. And then this guy, at the end of everything, I, he's like, yo, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm like, what do you mean? You know? And he's like, I'm like, why? He's like, Cause I I'm sell I'm doing it at this price and you're selling it at this price and I looked at him like you do you know what a fucking business is like do you, words like, like what do you like, do what? did you not think there would be margins like yo you, you he got paid back the first person that got paid was him and you were what you know and he, he was still charging me like even more than like whatever which is fine because like yo that's his margins right. So I'm like, fuck, and then he just stopped. He want to do it again for me. So I was like, yo, you know, <laughs> some bullshit, because I had a good thing going. Now I have to find another fucking private printer or fucking designer. <laughs> you smoking on some gas right now. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Yeah, me too, man. I'm fucking, I just smoked that, that, that L there, and I'm fucking, I'm pretty ripped already. Pretty ripped? No, I don't even know what the fuck this weed is called. I don't even know. Is this, what's this shit called? Hip the Crypto Carno Light? What's it? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking <laughs> Yo, word. The fuck they call? Etch a sketch? Nigga said, guess your own, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it and you could draw a different high. <laughs> Yo, word. Yo, I'm going I'm to create a weed called West Chester. <laughs> 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 fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yo, these niggas in New York are gonna fucking hate me. <laughs> They're going to be like, nigga, you got to say Westchester like that. I'm going to be like, Westchester. <laughs> yo, man. Yo, shout out to the to everybody in fucking Horace, man, and fucking Trinity College, bro. That nigga that you guys, yo, that you guys have, man. Jesus Christ. Yo, so the reason why I say that Westchester shit is because the, there's a dude that was, that, that was going to that at college, those colleges. And um, he was he was actually with my cousin, uh, Anthony, and uh, he does fucking YouTube skits. And this dude, he's a fucking he's like, a yeah, it's, it's like 10 years old and shit. Like he was a he was a D1 basketball player. Like he was going to make it type shit. Yeah. But the nigga like 10 years ago, he just stopped and just started to make YouTube videos. And the nigga, it was mad funny. But then he like stopped doing that, too. And like nobody knows what happened to him. But the last skit that, like, got millions of hits was this shit. The nigga dressed up like a girl, bro. And he was like, yo, it was mad funny. They had the wig and, like, a dress. And that nigga was like, he was like, you know, but, like, I go to the club and I look for niggas that, like, got money. And, like, because, you know, I'm, like, a nice bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, I don't want nothing, you know, serious because, you know, I just want, like, a nigga from West Chester. And I'm like, get the fuck. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm never gonna say the shit that Bro, I, I can't swear ever to say God, bro. Ever again. Yo. Years. Yo, I swear to God, every every so often I just gotta watch the fucking skit, bro. I'm like, stop it, bro. And the shit holds up, bro. He, the shit still holds up to this day. I'm gonna send you the link, bro. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I wanna I, I need to be I wanna check it out. Check You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Fuck it, Breeze. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know this what man, I'm talking about. This fuck. man started it. I saw his comments. You know, he started this fucking spiral of humor going on right now. Yo, he fucking knows he did. Fucking De Blasio out here. De Blasio Hayes. <laughs> De Blasio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we going to hell tonight. Next <laughs> up. <laughs> Bro, I'm doing. I've been doing my rounds, homie. <laughs> Yo, the facts. Like, I've been circling the gate for a minute, son. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, every time I, every time I pass the fence, I dap a couple people I know up. Like, They'll be there soon, dog. They're <laughs> early. Like, come check me at the door, people. Early. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. He said, Raul. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Joey Crack, what's the deal? <laughs> East Wilders, <laughs> nigga, stupid. My bad, nigga. Stop for that. <laughs> Oh, yo, Breeze, I appreciate it, dog. Yo, facts, facts. Speaking but, of Breeze, yo, do you want to, uh, you, would you like to hear one of the joints me and Breeze did real gonna, quick? I, you know what? Great minds think alike. I was just going to say, I know you have a couple tracks you want to you want to show, show, so play, yeah, play with your bro. Sure. I'll let you know if it needs sure. to be turned up or turned down, though, because, you know, it's fucking, it's on some ghetto shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, trust me. It's on some ghetto shit here, too. It's on my laptop, and I'm on my phone. Like, that, nigga, this shit is all yeah. Bro, I don't even have the right fucking lighting right now. I'm waiting for street lights to camp. come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Yo, don't even worry. I've been talking to myself for, like, 20 minutes. Are we good? <laughs> I can see him a little on my Yeah, screen. I know. Bro, look. Look. I don't even know if you can tell, like. I could see you a little on my screen, but he can't see. I can't at all. see shit. His screen is just black. My shit is black. My shit is I don't black. even know what race I am now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkness ticity. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna watch this interview and get to that part and hear me say that, and they're gonna start clipping it and posting it and be like, "What's this piece of shit talking about?" <laughs> yup. They're going to be like, what the fuck he about to say? I know he ain't about to say no dumb shit. They're going to be like, oh, wow, Paul's wallet. They're going to be like, Paul did it again. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, yo, shout out Breeze, yo. This that, um, this that let that nigga know. All right, let me know if y'all niggas can hear this, though. For real, for real. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? Yeah. You get out. Right. Turn it up a little bit. 
I got that's all I got. I mean, I could do it for you. I can't, yo, if you need it higher, though, I do have a like a radio speaker. You, you need it higher than that? Yeah, if you can play it off a radio speaker, yeah, oh. it works. Oh yeah, I, 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 I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. All right. Just hold on. You, it, it, it's, you could hear it loud, but it's close. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of yeah, like breaking like up. distorted. And, yeah, I don't want. To I do want to give it so. I wanted to give it somewhat justice before people actually hear it later, like for for like high quality. Facts. 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 So yeah, so I was gonna play Bertha. <laughs> yo, yeah, yeah, yo, Pete, yo, shout out Bertha, my big bitch. Watch my birthday. Yo, look at this, man. This is my brolic ass life size speaker. Take it everywhere. Yeah. Well, not everywhere, yeah. but take it almost everywhere. Like when niggas need me to perform and niggas ain't got no DJ, I, I bring my own speaker and we, we get it popping. There we go. Yup, yup, yup. All right, let me put this on Bluetooth real quick. I thought my... it was Breeze. That was like the <laughs> No, no, I actually said that shit because I already knew what it was. I was like, oh, but we fucking up right now. Right, let's see. Bertha is on Bluetooth. Yeah, something's linked up to it already. What do you mean something's linked up to it already? Oh, my black ass. Baby D. Bertha, you got to tell me. You got to tell me I'm already linked up to you, hon. <laughs> All right, hold on. This just says it's connected. I right, we litty titty without a committee. You know, I've been saying. Uh, that same phrase since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> yo, same. People be like, bro, where'd you get that from? I'm like, I actually don't remember. <laughs> I have no idea where it came from. I'm waiting for that core memory to come out of my head where I'm like, oh, yeah. But till then, I'm going to just say it. I'm going to just keep saying that shit. Like, I don't remember. I know I got it from somewhere. I know I didn't make that up, but I don't know where I got it from. If we both know it, it had to come from somewhere. <laughs> that word. Yo, damn, it says that it's connected, but it's lying. Oh, no, it's it says it's connected. Hold on. No, no, it's not. Hold on. Yo, you sure your Bluetooth on your phone's not on? Nah, I just, just turned it off. Oh, okay. What? What? You want me to send it to you? And then you can just hook up to Bertha? I could do that. <laughs> Every time I hear it. I swear to God, yo, the Matrix is real right now. All right, wait, hold on. This going to take two seconds. Yo, you, just, <clears throat> you have any bars you want to just drop while we're waiting? Mm. I mean, I could, but I think he's ready for that. <laughs> I, I, I think they are. <laughs> no, no, I, I know they are. I know they are. But I really want y'all to hear this because... This nigga breathes, spaz the fuck out of him, right? Yeah, yeah he spazzed. You know, I've been, been listening. I've been listening to him to him and YM's track "Walking." Bro, that track is fucking crazy. Yo, he, yo, Breeze, YM. He went like Breeze. The way Breeze was do that does that hook on that is fucking crazy, bro. Yo, there are a whole bunch of gangsters. Yeah, the first one, mama, if you could. All right, so here, here is let that nigga know. Right. Can y'all hear it? You about to fuck up the whole shit with this one. Oh, shit. I said my niggas don't talk shit. My niggas be about anything. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, nah, you can't do that on you. I said my niggas don't talk shit. My niggas be about anything. Y'all pigs, nothing sour shit. Shit, he's a balance. I'll be made down. Niggas don't get the 
static, fuck the pussy static. Niggas down the block, them niggas causing havoc. We send you over for there, now this shit get real tragic. Another lost zone, that's lost to the madness. I lay on the cause of Pepsi, Christ, I'm out of action. If you call the docs, nigga, better have the station. My religious street, the whole team of senses. Second and none over here, yeah, you fucking bastards. Sheesh! Oh, cool. It's not this! Win! 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 Sit back and watch the world burn down with Bob P. Pick a pack. Sitting around with Don Touch the mic. You can get it up! I'm wild activated. Woo. Niggas got me aggravated. Shit done pushed me to the point. I take this block and get you lift up. <laughs> Who the fuck you thought you was talking to, brother? Not I. Not I. You keep it with you everywhere. Cause boy, I got mine. I cross teeth and got eyes. Put you up like pie flies. Send one of you niggas up to Pearly if you fuck with my guys. Get a word in my meal, we burn them like Casamigos. Ain't body be burning. That's why I don't fuck with you people. In my city, it's apocalyptic, boy, that don't be lethal. My town can hold the record for the most. Dirty needles in the strongest bag of fat in the old box is stripped. Get his dog. Niggas in, mix it up, scoot it down, get him gone. Shorty like Molly, but got a thing for the road. Hitting all them old heads, thinking like Cosby, they try to get it all. I tend to fly dolo. With that shit at all, I'm by my fatty. Get your bread up, but we can get it far. If you ain't know me, go somewhere and find a nearest log. Take it to your wrist, find a clip, nigga, and throw it off. It's street religion. A lot of niggas don't like that. Until we get them done, like great corn, put that spike back. Put a hot hole, find a check in your nightcap. My heart is in the deep dark tone where I left your life at. What's that? What? Yeah, that. Jesus. That's that Talk scarlet. That's that. That's a scarlet beat, yeah. Whatever. That's the scarlet beat, right? The, uh, yes. yes. Yeah. We had to yeah, that do that shit for New York, bro. Oh, definitely, bro. That fucking beat. That beat's hard too, man. That shit was ridiculous, bro. That, Yo, shout out to fucking is that, Breeze. Is that bro. unreleased or is it? Is it? No, that's that's actually on. That's actually one of my episodes of fucking Where's the Booth, but it's actually on the Street Religion Young Brizzle page early on YouTube. Go catch it on his on his joint on YouTube. Shit is early. We got we got the first official Where's the Booth on his on his uh, joint on on uh, his YouTube page. So go press play on that shit. Word up. And then, did you have is it, it on the Street Religion page? It's not on his page. Oh, it's on the Street Religion page. I apologize. Street Religion page, guys. The, the YouTube religion. Street Religion page? Yes. Yes. All right, word. And then if you guys go to my page. Uh, let's... Yo, this next song is going to be Black Cream. It's another Where's the Booth. It's the, it's, these are the first two features that I ever did off the Where's the Booth shits. Now, um... I created a series on my YouTube channel called Where's the Booth? Um, it, I think it only has like six episodes right now, but every episode is different. Where's the Booth's uh, premise is it doesn't matter where the fuck you are or where the booth is. As long as you rapping, nigga, the booth is right there. So I just take the mic and I just, you know, put where my black ass is at and just be rapping. Like, it don't matter where you at. As long as you're I, there, nigga, the booth is there. I think I, saw rap, one of them, I think I saw one of them on your uh, Facebook page earlier today. Yes. I think you might have. I don't even know if I if I posted that shit. I don't know. Might, I mean, I'm doing I might everything. be mistaken. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm for sure, for sure, but I'll, I will keep it because I'm going to have to get your YouTube page for when I put this episode on YouTube anyway. Okay. All right, not a problem. I'll, I'll send that shit. But, not a problem. But yeah, yo, if you want to, you, you want to play another joint before the episode wraps up because they cut it off at about an hour, so I don't want oh. to just cut off. Like, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll, I'll play yo, one more joint. Definitely gonna lock in for a second episode. I've been doing that with a lot of people lately because, like, like we end up having like a crazy fucking spiral of humor that happens, like we did, and then we the time just go drifts off. So like, yo, definitely scratch yourself. Have, have a second one for sure. Yo, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, I would. I would be honored. That that would yeah, be no, great. For sure. be for for sure. that. Now that we're locked in, now that I know how to contact you and shit, and I won't forget because I'm always too high. <laughs> and yo, you could always hit me up early, son. So you good? <laughs> <laughs> you good? So we good? 
ready? All right, we good? All right. So look, here is Black Cream, uh, Forever Fresh, and myself. <laughs> Got an itch that I couldn't scratch. Had to feed my demons, my demons, they on my back. Monkeys getting heavy. Yeah. Every second I rap. Everyone that's around me's a rapper that couldn't rap. You want my suit served in a way with a new purse. Yeah. Wrote my new script and script with a new word. It's a battle with the lyrics. I'm leaving you on alert. And now you pushing up them daisies. You sick feet under the dirt. This a hundred gun salute. Now you running some pussy bulls. Put your feet up in my shoes. You couldn't portray my truth. Mud got you stuck. You stuck in the place of doom. And now you choking on the air. The air that you couldn't use. Man, you asking them some questions. Some questions like what I do. I got a son in this position paying for what I do. Re -re Reaping what you sow. What you sow will follow suit. Come as a bitch. Full circle, full circle, you bring a fire, bring a fire. When I say no lies, I mean that shit. Right, These white folks, I don't care what's up there. I don't care if you're a lawyer, if you're a man, if you're a captain, if you're a man, 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 Early YouTube trying to hate on us right now. Was it YouTube or was it Bertha? <laughs> Yo, Bertha could be a stuck up little bitch. I mean, she's a big one. Don't 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 get me wrong. Oh no, I hear her. She she tripping up. She ain't tripping up. I just can't keep it up on speaker. Think I'm the oh, hell no. Why not? Oh. No, no, yeah. All right, all right, all right. This is how we do it on the Forever Fresh tip. Hold on. This is how you do this. I had it all figured out, but things be changing. Puzzle pieces ain't fit. It's time to rearrange it. Think I'm in danger. Out here taking candy from strangers. Lost my love for the love. Now my heart filled with anger. Getting crazy how I move nowadays. Everybody lost faith. I'm out here trying to get saved. Tired of being a slave. I'm trying to get some likes and some views. Then this got a sense of youth. Still ain't got you a clue. Guess you gotta do what you do to make a buck. <laughs> Keep following trends till that trend you suck. Bet I could walk on water if I put down this cup. You could have a million dollars, but that shit ain't enough. I like stuff. Pretty faces and big butts. Life could change daily. You just gotta adjust. But I could shut down the game right out of a rut. When they ask me where the booth, you find fresh and just. Whoo! What we got, baby? Number one. Number one. Where the fuck am I from? Books, nigga. Just cowards. All right. So forgive the technical difficulties, but that was black so, cream. I apologize. Good. People are fucking with it. People are fucking with it in the comments anyway, bro. So I think it, they did they did their job, bro. And they're out. Early. So you guys go peep them on the on the YouTubes. Be sure to do that. But yo, uh, just so so it doesn't cut us and I don't get it all fucked up. Uh, just again, just cause for episode one hundred and nine. I appreciate you coming on, my guy. No, thank you so much for having me, man. It was an honor. Thank you and a blessing, man. And I look forward to the next time, man. Yeah, thank you so much. We'll, for we'll, real. we'll figure out a second one for sooner sooner than later because I'm sure you have projects that will be coming out so we can follow up with uh, something that you're dropping and that way we have some more info. But, yeah, whenever, bro. It's, it, it's really it, – reoccurring guest is always good because at least I know I have an energy or, or like, a vibe when I'm speaking with them. So. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Yo, this is this was great, man. Just hit me up, man. I'm I'm always here, man. Just hit me up early. You already know. Definitely, bro. I appreciate you again. Uh, again, just cause episode 109 of Car Chats. I'm your man Hanley. Episode sponsored by Diamonds Rising. And uh, yeah, have a good night, bro. And uh, we'll talk again soon. All right, man. Peace, peace. Have a good peace. one.